Greek warrior Achilles. Youth with a Bow is an oil painting on canvas by an unknown artist, who was probably a student of Jacques-Louis David or Antoine Jean Gross, two prominent French painters of the neoclassical style. The painting was created around 1815 and depicts a young man holding a bow and arrows, with a stormy sky in the background. The painting is currently in the collection of the Chrysler Museum of Art in Norfolk, Virginia. The young man in the painting has been variously identified as the ancient Greek warrior Achilles, the Greek hunter Meliga who killed the Caledonian boar, and even the Old Testament hero David. But none of these identifications has proven conclusive. In fact, the painting seems less a depiction of a specific, historical, figure than a more general essay on the essence of idealized male beauty in the then fashionable neoclassical style. The neoclassical style is a revival of the many styles and spirit of classic antiquity inspired directly from the classical period, which coincided and reflected the developments in philosophy and other areas of the Age of Enlightenment, and was initially a reaction against the excesses of the preceding Rococo style. In painting, it generally took the form of an emphasis on austere linear design in the depiction of classical themes and subject matter, using archaeologically correct settings and clothing. The painting shows the influence of Jacques-Louis David, who was the leading painter in France of the neoclassical movement. He was known for his portrait paintings of Napoleon and his battles, as well as his interest in the sublime, an emotional state characterized by both horror and awe. He also painted several historical and mythological scenes, such as the Oath of the Horatii, 1784, and the Death of Marat, 1793, which are notable for their austerity of design and theme. The painting also shows the influence of Antoine Jean Gross, who was a French painter of historical subjects, who studied under David and began an independent artistic career during the French Revolution. He was given the title of Baron Gross in 1824. He was known for his portrait paintings of Napoleon and his battles, as well as his interest in the sublime, an emotional state characterized by both horror and awe. He also painted several historical and mythological scenes, such as Hercules and Diams, 1795, and Psyche revived by Cupid's Kiss, 1798, which are notable for their use of warm Venetian colors. In this painting, the artist portrays the young man as a model of masculine perfection, with his smoothly polished flesh, straight, Greek, nose and curly, wind-blown locks set against a stormy sky. The elegant bowman seems the embodiment of the neoclassical ideal of harmony, clarity, restraint, universality, and idealism. He also seems to embody the neoclassical ideal of the hero, who is brave, noble, and virtuous. The painting creates a sense of admiration and aspiration, as well as a sympathy for the young man, who may be facing a dangerous or tragic fate. Youth with a Bow is a remarkable example of the style and technique of the neoclassical school, as well as the ability to portray historical and mythological scenes in a realistic and expressive way. The artist has created a painting that is both intimate and dazzling, capturing the personality and culture of the subject, as well as the artist. The painting is a testament to the friendship and admiration between the young man and the artist, as well as between the artist and the art.